this video, we're going to take a look at creating and assigning resource statuses. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create the resource statuses. To do that, we're going to want to go to Project Controls and then select the resource statuses. So as you can see here, we have a few that I already created. I have some procurement for steel, ordered, shipped, received, and late. And then we have some progress statuses here uh, for concrete that are formed, reinforced, poured. So the structure you want is you're going to want to have your resource status title, the discipline, and then the status name. And then to do this, we would simply just go add. So we have the title. And then from there, we'd want to give it a discipline. And then from there, we want to give it the actual status name. So that's kind of the hierarchy of how the resource statuses work. So once the resource statuses are created, we can actually give them uh, percentage weights, right? And to do that, we're going to want to again go to Project Control, recalculate task progress and it's going to open up this window so if we don't have this selected you can see it's blank we want to make sure we select our mapping rule and then we're going to scroll down to our different resource statuses right so as we can see here is that my formed uh, progress resource status is worth 20 the reinforced were 60 the port is 100 so now when we assign these uh, resources in field it's going to update the schedule with this progress percentage right so we'll take a look at that in a further training video so once we have these set up we can see i'll select the name that i created here and then just simply give it a weight that you want right when you're done simply hit close and you have your statuses that require percent progress assigned so the next thing we want to do is create resource groups to do that, we'll go to our 3D objects and we can filter down to what we want. So I'll select all my columns and framing and now I have all my steel. So I can select everything, right click and go resource groups, create a resource group. So I'll call it steel. So now when we go to our resource groups, we can see we have steel and we have concrete. Next, we'll want to create human resources and assign it to our resource group. So to do that, we're going to want to go to our resources, right click, add human, type our name in. Then the next thing we're going to want to do is right click on the column header, go customize column, and we want an email column. So search email, you can see at the top here, we'll move that up towards the top, hit OK. So now we want to type in our email. Once our email is typed in, we can go to resource groups and now from the drop down menu you'll see the team members that you want to assign lastly we're going to want to assign our resource statuses a simple way to do that is you have your resource groups already so for steel let's select our steel resource group go to our resource statuses and now i can assign my steel resource statuses to the steel resources to do that simply right click assign to select it right click assign status on selected resources so now if we want to see these uh, resource statuses all we do is we want to change the color mode right so right now we have an appearance pro profile we want to see resource status so as you can see it just went gray right so in our 3d view properties it's set to this default category but we've created our own so now i want to see procurement so now you can see with the procurement i can see and we'll turn on our legend here so I can see that I have a bunch that has been shipped it looks like everything has been ordered and then uh, and then I have two that have been received right just by looking at this we can tell by the colors right so now if I switch over to progress I can see here that everything has been formed and I have uh, one slab that's been reinforced looks like these are out of order so we can just go to our legend and then for sorting i'm just going to say don't sort and now it's in the order that we uh, put them in but so we can see here formed reinforced we don't have anything poured so i've created a layout here we may want to see both at the same time i'm just going to open my layout 
then now we can see both, right? I can see my procurement and my progress. So I can see everything that's been ordered, shipped, received, but it gives you an idea to kind of show you uh, your procurement and progress and how you can track that. So next we'll take a look at the field app. So here we have the field app. I'm just gonna check my model. I can see here that my model is downloaded and up to date. So now let's go do our status updates. So this schedule is in the past, so I don't have anything scheduled for this week, but I can go to all my tasks, right? Any task that has a resource status and is assigned to me, I'm going to see the tasks, right? So now if I go to that structural framing, you can see here we have our steel. It's all green, so we know erected, and then we have one that's torqued, right? So if I move this over, we can see here that looks very similar, right? So now let's say we got a few more torqued today I can go and I'm going to go clear all and I can go and select the two maybe three that we got torqued I'm going to add it as torqued right so now you can see here is I have a second steal right so this is our procurement so we received so obviously we received these three today if we torque them so I can put those as received and then maybe we received a uh, received a couple more here as well right that one go back get this one here maybe we received all of them we'll just say right so now I have all those selected I can go back they can see here it's asking me to sync right so I'm gonna sync my statuses maybe while that's happening let's go take a look at our concrete as well right so if we go slab on grade, there we go. We got the reinforce, or we got the uh, reinforce. So now we're gonna say we moved on to area two, and now we've reinforced that as well. And we'll say, let's say area three as well. So now we'll go back, and then we can sync that as well, right? So it's showing me all items have successfully synced. So now we'll go back to our uh, pro project. So now that we're back at our pro project here, we can see that the procurement, that all the uprights have been received, they're all green. <clears throat> and then when we go to our progress, we can see that uh, the six or five, sorry, outside uh, steel have been updated to torque and all the cement has been updated to reinforced, right? And now if we want, we can go and update, we can analyze and run. And now this is updated uh, tasks as per the status, right?